Hello guys, here's Roman from Tentech. We all know and love the feature Fuzzy Skin from Kiura. However, it's only possible in the XY directions of the model. I was very bored today, so I thought why not try getting it to work on the top surface too. All you need is Kiura, Blender 2.8 and two community plugins for Blender that you can find in the description. Check out how you can do it using non-plan our cheat code after the intro. The first thing that you need to do is slicing a model in Cura like you would normally do. As you know, there is a feature of Fuzzy Skin. If you activate it and slice your model, it will give you a randomized pattern for the outer walls. This gives you a very interesting look after printing it. As I said before, I always wanted to have it on the top layers too, but it's not possible because Cura doesn't support non-planar slicing. For this test print I will deactivate Fuzzy Skin because I only want it on the top surface. One thing that you have to note is that you have set your initial layer height to the same value like the overall layer height. You're gonna see why later in the process. Let's switch to Blender. Make sure that you're using Blender version 2.8. Otherwise, you could run into problems with one of the plugins. You need to install the two plugins G-Code Importer and G-Code Exporter. You can find the links in the description. Let's import our G-Code that we sliced in Cura before. Open the side panel with N and go to the G-Code Import tab. Make sure that you have enabled the setting Split Layers and click Import G-Code to choose your file. The cheat code will not appear in the center, so you have to look around and find it. As you can see, each layer is an individual path. If you select the top one and go into edit mode, you can manipulate it. I'm gonna select every non-parameter line and subdivide it, so that I have more points to work with. For a fuzzy skin like look, you can select one point and move it on the set axis while you are in proportional editing mode with the falloff set to random. Don't overdo it, otherwise your printer will struggle. If you are done, you need to get out of editing mode again and select the layer. Duplicate it and move it in the set direction at the same step like you set your layer height to. I do it a couple of times to get a better result. You need to reset the location of the newly duplicated layers to zero by pressing Ctrl A and hit location. After that, select everything and join it with Ctrl J. When you're done, go to the Chico tab and set your layer height to the same as you set in Cura. You have some other settings for your printer, adjust those if you need to. Remember to set your export path and file name at the top and then hit export. Open your G code from Cura and the newly generated one from Blender in a text editor of your choice. Now select the start G code which Cura generated and copy it over to the start of the new file. That's it, let's throw it onto the printer and check if it works. You should stay near the printer and watch it in case you did something wrong.
While I do think that the print quality looks very mesmerizing, there's room for improvement. The print quality is not very good, which is partly due to the limited settings in the G-Code export plugin. But I'm sure that you can get very good looking results if you further tweak the settings. I find it very interesting and I will play around with it more and will share my results in a follow-up video. If you manage to get it to work, please share your experiences in the comments so we can get the discussion going. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and leave a like if you want to support my channel. Thanks for watching and until next time.